Hello Mumsnetters, here we are live at Mumsnet Towers. I'm Justine Mumsnet. I'm Jerry Mumsnet. And I'm Carrie Mumsnet. And we've given Mumsnet a bit of a TV makeover. Thank you very much to everyone who's taken part. And grab a couple or something stronger and enjoy. Hello Mums Netters. Well, here I am in Reading. I've had two emails from two lovely young mums who have got problems with their wardrobe. You've given your suggestions. I've brought mine. We're going to have a fabulous trying on session. Come on in. So Jennifer, why did you write to Mums Net? What's your problem areas? My problem area is my mummy tummy and I'm just fed up of wearing the same jeans and tops all the time. So, Lolly Hart or Claire, uh, tell me what do you want to get out of your Mums Net experience today? I would love to be able to find a dress that fits nicely in the Nork area. The what area? The Norks. The boobs, the bust. <gasps> is that what you call them? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you both think you're going to take Mum's Net's advice today or mine? Hopefully both. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh my goodness! Oh, wow. wow. So, ladies, what do you think then? Lots to try on. Does anything actually grab your attention? Take your eye right from the beginning. The shoes. <laughs> and this purple dress here. We love that one for your yeah. first one. And for you, we thought a bit of colour. Got a lot of things here suggested by Mums Netters. This one was suggested by Amando. What do you think of it? I think this is a bit short. The, the top's too yeah. short. I agree with you. It's lovely around here, but then it does get a little tight over your problem areas. Um, you could wear it ruffled up there, but that makes it even shorter. Now, this one was suggested by Jackie No. What do you think of it? It looked lovely before I had it on, and now it's on. I really don't know. I have to say, I loved it when it was on the hanger. Mm -hmm. One good thing, it's got a lovely plunging V-neckline, which body shapes like yours should have, but beware the bra. What do you think to this one? Um, I really like it. I like the colour and it's a nice length. It's fantastic because you've got this wonderful bias-cut stretchy skirt, which just skims over all your lumps and bumps, and you look amazing. The colour is fantastic, and I think you look fantastic. And you need to get some high heel yeah. shoes, my lady. OK, now, Amanda also uh, suggested this one. I have to say, again, on the hanger, this one looks lovely, but this plunging neckline doesn't matter what body shape you are, it's far too low. The only thing you could do is wear a sequin boob tube underneath it, as well as your bra. Then you get a little bit of sparkle there, and you get that, that kind of modesty bodice there. OK, girls, another suggestion for both of you. What do you think? Um, I love the fabric, and the colour's really nice. But not good for norks, is it? Here are the girls in the outfits they've chosen. I think they look fabulous. What do you mums netters think? to think that people feeding their kids in supermarkets is so wrong. I think it's wrong because, you know, children should learn to be patient. They need to learn that there's rules and that they've got to follow the rules. My child has to wait when he's in a supermarket. If he's hungry, we go to the checkout and we pay for a sandwich and he eats it. There are rules that have to be followed. It's like stealing. The thing that annoys me is that, you know, these people are feeding their kids. The fruit's not even been washed. There's all kinds of bacteria on it. You know, they've not weighed it, so they don't know exactly what they've eaten. They've got no way of knowing how much they've had, so they're not going to be paying the right price. Why should these children be given everything they want? They expect that as soon as they walk into a supermarket, they can just eat like as if it's a buffet, and it's not. You go to the supermarket and you pay for what you want and then eat it. Am I really being unreasonable? This one is a tip by Hoochie Mama, who suggests heating up our eyelash curlers with a hairdryer before putting them on our eyelashes. So, have hair dryer. <laughs> Don't want to burn myself. No. Okay. Oh yeah, they are hot. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> yeah, they're poking me in the eyelid. They are really curly. Tip. That's a good tip. Try a coal at your heart. Very we like tip. that one. We're here to meet Will Young. Well, yeah. Why have you come to talk to us on Mum's Good, Good chance to have a gossip. 
We've had lots of positive comments about the hopes and fears video. Oh, on good. Oh, good. I was um, worried. I thought people so I might get the sort of far religious right no, going, this is so wrong. Um, we'd love him. to know what inspired it, really. I always like doing something different. I like the idea of a man playing pregnancy and all the emotions. It was more the emotions that that like, unveiled and allowed me to perform. Do you ever see yourself being a father in the future? Yeah, I think if I was in a very stable relationship, and I felt it was strong enough, um, you know, then I think I would. I would take time out from work, pick up kids from school. I'd be very glamorous daddy. What car would I drive? No, that's not the most important question. If you're on mum's net, you see, is what outfit what would you wear would to you wear school 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 run? Run? Yeah. Oh, I've already got it sorted. I'd wear my new kind of uh, riding boots that are up to there. I'd be quite jolly hockey sticks, I think. Uh, uh, oh, I'm, I'm a West London boy. You'd be fine. You'd fit right in. Screech in, push them out, off you go for a latte. <laughs> Brilliant. Do you have any advice you could give parents Me? who think who either have gay children or think they may have oh, gay children. Oh, God, all right. Um, listening and not worrying are the two key things. Yeah, maybe take them to a Girls Aloud concert for a stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see. <laughs>